Hi everyone, welcome to another vlog. Today it's June, our first vlog in June. And so you catch me today in the middle of a very busy day. Um, so I've spent the morning in, oh, another message coming through. I've spent the morning at the shops, uh, been to the hardware store, been grocery shopping, been to a few different clothing stores, so just in the general shopping center. Um, yes, and here we are, dumped all our stuff all over the bench, <laughs> as you can see, not very tidy. Um, but yeah, so that's my job for this afternoon, to pack things away and to put some of them to use. So I have been collecting these, um, so they should be short enough to fit in the drawer of my coffee slash hot drink station, which you can see just there. And also they are nice, they have a good capacity and have a small opening. So that's very, very convenient when you've got kids underfoot and you are less likely to spill your coffee on yourself. So I bought two of those, that was all they had. So I've got to keep my eyes open to see if there's any more. Um, some cable ties, everyone needs cable ties, right? Um, and also a towel rail, a suction towel rail. So at the moment we are all just using the one bathroom in our house. We only have one bathroom. Um, eventually down the track, we would love to put an ensuite bathroom in for Durham and myself. Uh, but that is not going to happen for quite some time. So in the meantime, we need to hang up a few extra towels. Uh, but we also don't want to drill into the tile because this is probably not going to be a long-term need. So uh, I think it costs less than $20 to get this, so that's good. Hopefully it stays up. But being winter, we've really had trouble drying the towels. We used to just hang them up on the back of the door, but it's just not doing the trick. Now that it's winter and a bit more humid, it's just, yeah, hard to keep the bathroom dry. So that's something I'm going to install today and yes, another exciting thing, well exciting, exciting for the boys anyway, uh, is <laughs> this coil of rope. So this is going to be a big swing out in the backyard, I hope anyway, see if I've still got the skills to put rope over branches. Um, over one branch. Yeah, one big branch, yes. Yeah. When I was a girl I used to throw rope over a branch and I used to be pretty all right at it, if I dare say myself. But um, yeah, so let's we'll see if I've still got the talent. With, and then a big ball you put your on Oh yes, got something to sit on too. Well, we haven't got something to sit on, but the main thing is to get the rope over the tree and we'll give that a go tomorrow, hopefully. Um, anything else of interest? Oh, I've got a bunch of fiddle cubey things. Um, this mesmerizing little and this. It's pretty fun. And this. Yes. Yeah, we got and a few the of these little rolling. kind of just soothing kids we things got to fiddle with. Yeah, the sort of thing that you can just take on in the fidget box. Yeah, something that you can just take in, in the car on a long box. journey. I've got this flipper puzzle. Whoa! What is that flipper which, puzzle? You know, just does this. Round and round and round. It's mesmerizing, no, do right? That with a puzzle. Yeah, okay, you can have a go. <laughs> um, and this little one here. So, um, with energetic children, you know, keeping no, kids happy no. on a long car trip can be a bit of a thing. Yeah. So, I'm going to get stuck into some cleaning and putting away, and I will hopefully catch you in a short time with a lovely clean bench. Okay, well, it's been an hour or two. I've mostly cleaned up in the living room. It doesn't look amazing yet. There's a few bulky items that need to be moved. Most notably, some piles of washing, so I'm not gonna show that off right now. But what I am gonna do is just um, show you me putting some of my shopping in place on the wall. So I'm in the bathroom, that's why it's so echoey. Um, and I'm sorry, the lighting is quite terrible, but, this is something that really needs doing. So.
you do the trick. So another thing that I really need to get done today is um, a friend of mine has dropped off a dress that she would love to wear tomorrow um, and it has a damaged zip. It's not caught on that side and so what I'm planning to do is just undo the stitching at the base of the zip, uh, re-align both of the uh, zipper tracks and sort of mesh them together. So put it back where it should be basically. So hopefully that won't take long. I'm just going to get my sewing box out and yeah, I need to make sure that happens today so she can wear it tomorrow. Saturday and I'm ready to put up a swing with my boys in the tree behind me so um, yeah I'm gonna start by trying to just throw the rope over and if that doesn't work we'll try a few other things but let's get started tricky filming and trying to do the string with kids around they're just tangling it and getting tripping in it and oh, it's getting too much I will get, I will let you know once we've got something sorted we have done it you can see in the background they are enjoying it job done for the day hello again it's uh, coming on late afternoon for me 21st of July, July, sorry, June, getting ahead of myself. Um, so I've been at the op shops, it's been a busy week. I've been preparing for an upcoming family holiday. So that is in two weeks. So 1st of July, we head off. It's probably why I said July, I've been definitely planning for July. Yeah, so I've been finding some good bargains, including this nice woolen jumper. It's 100% wool and very cozy only has one slight little hole at the bottom can you see it a little hole so I'm gonna spend some time this evening uh, fixing that one up 
it's uh, not in a very noticeable spot, so I'm really fine with that. Most of the time, anyway, I, I sh I'm sure that at least one hole, one new hole appears in my woolen jumpers or my scarves or whatever every year. This year, it was one of my nice cashmere scarves, so that was a pity. Um, but I've got, I think, three different knitwear items to fix. So I need to have a little sit down and get out my repair kit. Might need to get some more wool, but anyway. So that's what needs to happen this evening, if I can get around to it. Um, what else? Oh, I'll show you. So with this family holiday, we're going down to a... So with this family holiday, we're going down to a kind of heritage, a set of heritage cottages. So they're not glamorous. They are gonna be a bit cold. Um, I'm imagining that it's gonna be quite muddy and anyone who is has been to Australia or lives in Australia knows um, that the red dirt is very staining. You cannot get the red out of clothes once it's, um, once you've been splashed or dusted with red. So, so for that reason, I'm looking, been looking through the op shops and just trying to get some uh, cheap clothing that I don't mind the kids taking on holidays and I don't really care if it gets red and stained all through, they can just be play clothes. So that, that was the idea, but what I ended up finding was quite nice stuff. So in the end, I didn't, I thought, I'll just do a big sort out with the kids clothes and I'll take the nicest bits out, leave them at home. So do a bit of a sort out with that. Yeah, it's been very cold here lately. So it's, um, I'm expecting it to be very cold on holidays. All, all that said, I'm in WA. No. Perth area has a very temperate climate. So my version of very cold probably isn't even in the realms of cold for some people. So, uh, yes, um, that, that's my perspective on it. But anyway, it's got this nice, um, well, five bucks, but I thought it wasn't too bad. It didn't look too well worn. It actually has a few like splashes of, so sort of, I don't even know what that is. It's probably gross. But anyway, so this needs a good wash before I'm giving it to my kids, but this is for my youngest because he does not yet have a, warm jacket so that is a win what else have i got i got this novelty kids backpack so this is this is for my youngest as well he can put his toys in for me go away i got picked up some co-hangers and what i'm excited about i don't know i'm always excited about christmas even except maybe the last maybe for a few weeks after christmas i'm not excited about christmas but most of the time i'm excited about christmas and so I found this cool gingerbread stencil kit. So you've got like the, the, um, what do you call it? A-frame? The apex? Anyways, you got that. And <laughs> um, you got the sides. What else have we got? I like that it was still in the plastic and had all its parts because there were two kits and one did not have all its parts. You've got, you got some little cutouts where you can choose where to put doors and windows. Um, other decorative items like little gables or something. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about, but I really don't. I'm not a builder. Uh, but I, I can recognize the Christmas tree right there. So that's going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to that. Because um, I would like to do a little something with my kids as a special Christmas treat. So I thought this year we can be doing making gingerbread houses. Uh, so that's that. What else have we got? I've got a few, a few, I bought a few extra toys for the kids as a surprise so they can <laughs> have something to look forward to down on holidays. It's not really a surprise because they know what they're getting, but it's going to be still something to look forward to that they don't normally get to play with. Well, until tomorrow then.
again. As you would have seen this morning, I did a bunch of mending. So I'm very happy with how I, these came out. They're quite subtle, I think. Um, so that definitely isn't going anywhere. It's not going to get any worse. And then I also did one on one of my cashmere scarves. Well, I've only got one cashmere scarf, but one of my scarves. Um, there we go. I fixed a hole in that one too. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's quite subtle. And then once, can you see that? Yeah, once I wear it, it should be even more subtle. Um, so that's good. The main thing is just that I don't want the holes to get any worse. Um, and I also fixed one of Durham's beanies and the stitching on one of my jumpers. So a bunch of different things I amended. Also put a button on my brother's jumper, uh, jacket, and I think I did one other thing. I looked at fixing my son's pajama pants, but they're just a cheap brand and they are beyond repair. So sorry, no can do. Hello again, everybody. Today is now Monday. And so I've been madly trying to get some washing done. We've had quite a lot of wet weather. So a lot of washing has been piling up and today we just had a little bit more sunshine, very cold still. Yes, so the washing's not exactly drying. So we had a bit of sunshine today and I've done my best. I'm just trying to put the rest through on my lovely heated drying rack, which does a pretty good job actually, op shop find. And so now I'm just about to make one of my favorite dinner time recipes for my, one of my favorite healthier kind of recipes. I've made myself a nice mug of hot chocolate and thankfully the children are playing happily outside since it's not too wet and I've sent them out. They're quite enjoying that swing and bikes and that sort of thing. So yes, this meal is called spinach and lemon risotto. It's, um, just looking at the recipe card over here. Um, yeah, it's very green and I'll be honest, it doesn't actually, when I first saw the recipe, I didn't think it looked that appetizing, but it was using the ingredients that I needed to use. So I just went ahead and made it and I loved it. So it's now become one of our staples and yep. Yeah. I pull it out whenever I need something healthy with lots of iron and magnesium, that kind of thing. So I'm going to get stuck into that one now and yeah, I'll catch you when I've made it and you can see what it looks like. Here is my spinach and lemon risotto with garlic portobello mushrooms on the top. So this is a bit of a favorite and probably one of the few vegan meals that we actually eat. So we'll um, get stuck into this. Yep, busy Wednesday morning. Um, we are all in the midst of the school run and school rush um, this morning, getting ready to go with my eldest son to school because today he is running his um, cross country race. So, how many kilometers are you going to do, sweetie? Two. Two kilometers. So, that's pretty good, isn't it, for a little boy? Yeah. Yep, so we are all going to go watch him. Um, we're going to hang out a little bit at my friend's house in between drop-off and um, 
and the race because there's a bit of a, a bit of a gap between that, maybe an hour or two. Sorry, I'm just making a packed lunch at the moment. Some hot chicken that had been all broken up and popped in the fridge. I'm just popping that on a sandwich with some mayonnaise for his lunch. He does love a good chicken sandwich. So fairly simple and not as healthy as I would like. Not as many fruit and veg as I'd like. But I used up all my spinach on one of my dinners in the on the spinach and mushroom um, risotto. So no spinach left. Sandwich. And yeah, just gotta pack a little bit more fruit and veg to go with the sandwich. And we're good to go. And just like that, it's evening. I'm sorry I didn't pick up the camera too much. It ended up being a much more hectic day than I had anticipated. My little boy did a great job at his cross country running and he came forth. I was so proud of him because he had been sick on the weekend and he was still really congested. Um, so I knew he wouldn't be running his best today, but he came forth, so really pushed himself to get there and I'm really proud of him. So that was fun watching him do that. And then, ended up doing some grocery shopping. Um, I can't remember if I've mentioned it yet or not, but um, my family, my dad's side of the family, is all getting together to celebrate my grandpa's 80th birthday. So that's gonna be um, pretty special, I think. We haven't done anything like this that I can remember. And so I'm having to help organize. Well, I'm not having to, it makes it sound like it's an obligation, but I am organizing. Um, some of the meals we've decided to go um, use a collective kitchen space and take it in turns to make one meal for everybody. So I'm going to be making a nice roast dinner um, for, let's see, 26 adults and 15 children. So um, I went shopping, bought a whole bunch of meat. I will buy some fresh fruit and veg while we're down there. Just veg, actually. I'm not going to be serving fruit for my roast. <laughs> um, and what else did I do? It's been busy. Oh, yes. I had to top up my deodorant and lip balm because I'd run out of both of those things. So I will tag the video where I made this last year. And so I redid the same recipes, but just added a bunch of she shea butter to the deodorant recipe. And also I added some extra zinc, zinc oxide to the lip balm. So other than that, the recipes are unchanged. Yeah, so I've been as busy as bee and getting on with a lot of things. It's getting late, almost nine o'clock. You can probably see by my face, I'm not feeling that fresh. Um, I was slightly hesitant to even come on camera because I know I'm not really looking my best, but I'm gonna try and drink a cuppa and read a bit of a book. So last night I just was working right up until bedtime and that was not a good idea. Couldn't sleep at all. Uh, ended up not going to sleep until 11 or 11.30 or something, which is, what, two hours past my bedtime? Um, that's not cool. So today I'm gonna to make a bit more of a conscious effort to wind down. I have a shower, I'll read a book for a bit, I'll have a cup of tea. I will try not to think about work and what I need to do too much more. And then I will get cracking into some packing, hopefully. Definitely need to do cleaning, packing and washing. So all of that by Saturday. So that means I've got two full days to go and then we leave Saturday morning. So that's the plan. And so I'll see you in the morning. gonna be some wobbly footage. Good morning. I'm feeling pretty refreshed this morning um, after a good sleep. Unfortunately I'm not a hundred percent in the health department but not too bad especially after taking some cold and flu tablets so 
feeling okay and ready to get on with some things. You would have seen me just wrapping a gift. This is not for my grandpa's 80th. Uh, one of the children are having a birthday while we're down there. So a cake is going to be brought and we'll do a little celebration. And so I'm going to write a card and yeah, and then I'll show you what I've already packed so far. And I mean, it's not much. <laughs> I have most of it's gonna happen today. So here is the beginning of my packing. Um, I'm hoping that by the time we get to the end of the day, we'll have a nice big full pile because yes, so much more needs to be packed. It's uh, just about BYO everything holiday. Uh, not very much is supplied apart from a roof and a mattress really. So, and a few very basic cooking supplies. Yeah, so, so far we've got a pair of gum boots in each one and a backpack ready to put some play things. Um, I'm just packing into these boxes. I mean, maybe it seems a little bit cheap, but the honest truth is that we have not yet bought our kids any suitcases of their own. We don't have anywhere to store them right now, so we're just going for cardboard boxes. Um, I could be using bags, but I think these pack better and hold their shape so the kids don't get frustrated trying to rummage around and find things. So for us, this is actually, I think, going to be a pretty good solution. I'm in the boys' room now, surrounded by boxes of stored clothes and op shop clothes and hang on, hang on, sizes <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. You can't have my phone, no no phone. Oh. I'm gonna watch a video while I'm doing this. I'm gonna watch a YouTube video or something. It's gonna be boring and it's gonna take me a while. Catch you maybe at lunchtime, I think. Okay, so here we have the worst of our kids' clothes. I've slightly erred on the side of overpacking um, because, you know, muddy puddles, etc. Yes, darling. Yes, we'll probably need a few extra outfits. And here in the boys' wardrobe, I have taken out all the clothes that don't fit and replaced them with any of the new or stored items that do fit. So they are nicely folded in there. Yeah. Well, welcome to the last day of the vlog. It is unfortunately not the 30th of June, it is now the 1st of July. Um, so I've pushed over the month mark again, but um, I'm right in the middle of a full-blown flu or something like that. So I've been struggling to film as well as get the packing done. Had to take it up a gear in terms of packing to get it all sorted. It is definitely a full car but I just wanted to check in and let you know um, that I will be back next month with a rundown of the holiday. I'll be able to tell you all about it and hopefully include a few clips of how my roast dinner went. Um, hopefully it is a big success and not a big flop. We'll see. I'm a little bit nervous just about getting everything ready at the right time for so many people but we will see. Um, I have cooked many a roast before, so it should be okay. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next vlog. Bye!